Hi, my name is Ulf Erlingsson. I'm CEO of Lindorm Incorporated, and I'll now show you how to use our latest sedimeters, the SM3. It comes in two versions. This one, SM3A, without cleaner, and this one over here, the SM3B with a built-in cleaner. Let's start with the SM3A, how to prepare it for measurement. First thing you need to do is to plug in a greased underwater connector to the connector end in the instrument. Once you've plugged it in, you'll see that there are three LEDs that turn on. A blue one means that it has connection, connection to power from outside. The red one means that the battery is being charged now. Up here is the battery. If it's green, then the battery is fully charged. The yellow one means that the CPU in the instrument is listening for commands from the outside. Now, let's set up the computer software. All right, let's connect to it from the computer. We open the sedimeter application, and in the connection tab, we select the port. In this case, it's COM29, and we click Open Connection. Then we go to the Setup tab, and here we can click Get to find out what the time is in the sedimeter. Now the time is a little bit wrong, so we click set and set it to the same time as in the computer. If we want to check it, we click get again and now the time difference is zero. We may want to check if we have something in the memory before we plan another deployment. So we click download and check. Zero records. The memory is empty. So go back to setup and set the start time. This is in UTC. So let's say the time now is 22.31.33 UTC. We set the start time, let's say, tomorrow at 12 here is 1700 UTC. And the interval in hours, minutes, and seconds, perhaps we want to measure every hour. So we set one, zero, zero, and set. The burst rate and the samples, those values you should ignore because those refer to other instruments, not this one. Now, we have only one thing left to do before we can bring this instrument out to the field, apart from letting the battery charge fully, of course, and that is to go to the tab special, set log data mode, to logger, log the sedimeter mode is the same here, and click set. Now it's in logger. Now we can just let this sit here for a little while until the green light comes on. From completely empty to completely full, it should never take more than six to eight hours. It's probably just a matter of hours. If we want to find out how much charged it is, we can do a real-time measurement but that's not necessary right now. So we'll go, just go back to connection, close the connection, unplug this, and when unplugging it, notice that you have to hold in the connector of the instrument, not here, because then you put stress on the glue here. So hold on the connector and unplug it like that. It's very important to grease the connector so that you don't get too much force on the connector when you plug and unplug it. And then you have a blind plug, also greased, to plug in and protect the connector before deployment. Ready. Now, let's take the cleaner version, SM3B. That one has one additional thing to think about, and that is the cleaner shuttle. You have to make sure you have a line here in good condition, that this is the right tightness. 
I'll put down a hole the tube to check that it slides easily. If it, if it sticks, you can loosen a little bit on the nut and it will slide a little bit easier. And then we want it on the right level. The right level is just above the turbidity sensor here. If it's not on the right level, we can run the reel, the motor, up and down using the software. So let's see how that is done. I'll uh, plug in the cable, just like with the other one. Well, let me take off the hole, the tube. Okay. And here we see the LEDs come on. We open the connection. Oh, we, we first, of course, we have to select which port, COM29, and then we open the connection. Now we go and do the same thing. We check that the time is right. We uh, check that it doesn't have anything in the memory. We set up the wiper. We go to the wiper tab. And there you see manipulate cleaner motor. You can run up, run down. We can set the step size, let's say 64 milliseconds, and run down. You'll see it moves down a little bit. I'll put it on one second, you'll see it clearer. Run down and run up. All right. The other thing we have in this tab is the wiper cleaning settings. The wiping interval is how many measurements there go between two cleanings. So let's say we want to have uh, one measurement per hour and one cleaning per day. The value to put here is then 24. Next wiping tells the centimeter when to start cleaning. It may not be necessary to clean the first couple of days. So let's say we put 48 here. And click set to program the instrument. Done. Now we have to go to setup and set the start time. And we, is, let's say we start the same time tomorrow, 1700 to start at noon. And the interval one hour. And we click set. And to check it, we click Get. Yes, it's done. The only thing left to do now is to click on the Special tab. Uh, click Get and see that the mode is now Sleep. But to start measurement, measuring, I, of course, have to change the mode to Logger. And click Set. And now it's programmed. Now everything is ready to just Charge the battery fully, unplug it, plug in a blind plug, and deploy it. The thing that's important in the deployment in the field is, of course, to put it down all the way and make sure that this one falls down on the holder tube by its own weight so it doesn't get stuck. Because if it gets stuck, the reel will, the line will make a mess here and it will stop cleaning. It will keep measuring, but it will stop cleaning. All right. You're done here. Unplug it. Remember, hold in the rubber, not in the glass, in the polycarbonate. Like that. Plug in the blind plug and we're done.